This video demonstrates how to check the brake wear on Cessna Citation models 525, 525A, 525B, and 525C aircraft. The 525 series aircraft utilize brakes with wear pin indicators in the brake housing. To inspect the pin indicators, locate them on the top and bottom of the brake assembly. On the Goodrich brakes found on the CJ series except the CJ4, these are located here. On the Megat brakes found on CJ4, they are located here. These indicator pins protrude from the housing. Ensure they are visible. If one indicator is broken, the brake assembly can remain in service as long as the other indicator is intact. However, if both indicators are broken, the brake assembly must be replaced before the next flight. To check for wear, you will need a second person to activate the brakes while you check them, or you can set the parking brake. The brakes must be actuated to accurately check for wear. Once the brakes are actuated, examine the amount of pin protruding from the housing. A wear pin that is protruding from the housing with the brakes actuated indicates that they are not yet fully worn and still have some service life. Fully worn brakes will have a wear pin that is flush with the housing. If the Goodrich brakes are fully worn on 525, 525A, and 525B, the brake assembly must be replaced or overhauled within the next five aircraft landings. If the Megat brakes are fully worn on 525C, the brake assembly must be replaced or overhauled immediately. This simple check can be performed as often as needed, and Team CJ recommends that brake wear pins are checked frequently to avoid using the brakes past their wear limit. If you have any questions concerning the information presented in this or any other 525 series video, please contact Team CJ toll-free at 855-832-9831, directly at 316-517-7785, or via email at teamcj at txtav.com.